do you like dessert? Hopefully crispy. Coming right up on a weekend at the cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. To begin, I want to remind you to subscribe to our website. Head to our YouTube channel, click for notifications, drop us comments at the end of this video when you like it. Finally, keep the conversation going on one or more of our social media platforms, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Why? Because you're here with friends. What kind of friends? The most amazing people in the world, like our dear friend, Julie Van Rosendahl. Julie Van Rosendahl is a food columnist on Canada's national newspaper, The Globe and Mail. She's also a guest star on CBC Radio, and she's also the creator of this fabulous crisp recipe. We're doing a strawberry rhubarb crisp. Now, the recipe is extremely complicated. It's very hard to prepare. Not. It's so straightforward. Our beloved Julie really delivers. Let's begin the recipe by assembling the two fruits we require. You're gonna need four cups of strawberries. I've hulled them, sliced them into a large bowl. Also, three cups of rhubarb chopped into a bowl. The best way to enjoy this is at the peak of the season. Those strawberries just came in. The rhubarb maybe is growing your garden. You remember to cut off those greens. You assemble this beautiful seasonal fruit. We continue by adding three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and I took the sugar and flour into a bowl, stir them with a fork, and now pour them over the fruit. Stir everything by hand, and then you're into your casserole dish. I love what Julie puts on top of her crisp. We're starting with one cup of old-fashioned oats, half a cup all-purpose unbleached flour, half a cup of brown sugar packed, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of salt. Now stir the topping ingredients together before we add eight tablespoons of butter. We're gonna pull the topping together like we do a pie dough. Rub it between your fingers. All of this will blend together and you have a very beautiful topping. We pour it on top of our casserole dish. Our oven is preheating to 375. Rack is in the middle position. Julie Van Rosendahl's famous strawberry rhubarb crisp goes into the oven and you're going to bake it for exactly 45 minutes. It'll come out of the oven. It's bubbly and fragrant and gorgeous. I love the crisp on top. Now, I'm gonna serve this tomorrow, but don't tell anyone, I'm gonna do a little taste test. Right now, just on that corner, right by that bubbly goodness, you'd let this cool down before you take that bite. I have a little bit of the crispy topping. I have strawberry and rhubarb. Of course, you know me, my mouth is watering. Oh. Gotta be one of my favorite desserts. I mean, I need it like this, but you could also serve a top with whipped cream. Forget that. Let's top it with vanilla ice cream. I gotta tell you, one of my favorite recipes of all time, big thanks to my beloved friend, Julie Van Rosendahl, we have a strawberry rhubarb crisp like no other. Hope you make and enjoy it real soon. After that, come on back and visit us at weekendatthecottage.com. Take care.